Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife cha uh, channel, <laughs> Anissa Challenge channel. It is the 1st of March, which means it's no longer February, which means that my frugal no spend February is over. And um, I can, <laughs> I was going to say I can spend loads of money now, but I'm not going to. Um, I think it's been a complete success i've only spent 10 pounds i'm good at obeying rules i'm good at aiming at a target and um i think i've nailed it really with the no spend i spent 10 pounds on a takeaway and that is the only non-essential thing i spent my money on all month boom that's that's really uh good um sorry i've got a light here that i'm fiddling around with it's doing my head in um yeah Anyway, so I, I don't know what kind of success you've had. I was kind of pretending to judge people in the comments, but really it's up to you, isn't it? You know what you want to do with your money. I personally was uh, using the target of a no spend and the rules of a no spend to, to focus myself, to lend myself um, strength. I do the same. Like when I was going to Slimming World, I used the rules that you were supposed to have every day day what you're supposed to have every day and the target of getting weighed I just powered through at Slimming World to to get to my um, correct weight I mean <laughs> put a bit back on now but it's really useful for me to have a structure and a target and the no spend month it really helps and I think because I started practicing a little bit in January I think I've probably I'm probably 200 pounds a month better off I would have been um, if had I not done it and I don't think I've missed out on anything um, there's a couple of things on my Amazon wish list I'm kind of ambivalent about and um, the rest of it I can't even remember what I was looking at so yeah structure make your own rules have a target or have a, a you know something that um, you want to do in my case I wanted to succeed it wasn't an amount I was aiming at I think I'm probably £200 better off um, in my personal discretional bit of funds, you know. I mean, I spent £200 on a bed out of the kids' um, emergency money to get Brad in a bed while he's staying with us. <laughs> so it balances out. But what if I hadn't done it, I'd be £200 down. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's been a complete success. The other thing I had to aim for was getting rid of 100 things from um, my house during... Oh, <laughs> I just knocked the light over. <laughs> during January and February. I don't... This ring light's not working for me at all. Um, it, during January and February, I decided to get rid of 100 things. I copied a chart, a sort of a, took a screenshot of a chart and used that and coloured it in with... Um, what's it called graffiti on is it you can use on your little media photos anyway yeah so i've put a copy of that onto my community page you can have a look at it if you want and just basically every time i found something that i thought why am i keeping this i threw it away and i made it colored in a little dot on the chart and i did a hundred and i did the hundredth one yesterday so whoa a little bit close to the wind there but that was good you know it focused my mind to have something to aim for a lot of people get worried of FOMO fear of missing out without buying things or if they think if they throw something away they might need it again another time as far as a possibility um in both cases but you need to wait up in your mind throw things away you might need it again in the future but in the meantime Think of all the nice space and oxygen that you're gaining in your house by getting rid of it. Think of the way it'll be so much easier to find good things. Like if you've got loads of socks with holes in in your drawer that aren't mendable, whatever. Well, you don't want to root through them every time you need to get a nice pair of socks out. Just have the nice socks and get rid of the others. Use them for cleaning or something. Um, and again, with buying things... I think most of the time you don't miss the things you didn't buy because you never had them. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely enjoyed Frugal February. Definitely carrying it on. That, that's a mentality of, of double checking with myself whether I really need to spend money. I think I could be a lot better off financially 
if I try to follow this mindset that I've uh, managed to develop over the last month. I know I pretended to judge some of you in <laughs> the comments, going, oh, you naughty girl. But it really is a matter of personal choice. Um, one of the things I didn't declutter, that I should declutter, is my dry shampoo, which <laughs> it's in the cupboard in the bathroom, and about once every three months I use it, and it reminds me why I don't really, I should rechuck it away. Ah uh, dear, look a bit crazy today. But anyway, thank you for following me on my journey. Let's see what you um let's see down below what you've achieved this month, if anything. And thank you all for your condolences to Branson. As we know, he lost his dad um last month and it's been very, very hard on him. He's only twenty seven, so so let me know how you got on like and subscribe i always forget to say that if you do watch me you know subscribe because like most of 75 percent of people who watch me every month aren't subscribed and it'll be nice if some of you joined in um don't know where my next video will be someone said don't just forget it now and i won't i'll i'll carry on making videos if i can um i'm always looking for things to talk about and uh yeah we'll have a little thing i should <laughs> i'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna like kick that about now while you're watching me so thank you very much for your support yes frugal february works yes you could do a what did someone say miserly march if you thought that was a good idea you could end up with an extra couple of hundred quid in your bank and I love you all goodbye bye bye